good day. Greg and Chris from Rhinotech up in our Egan, Minnesota Manufacturing Distribution Center. And uh, we have a situation that we're going to make a shirt really fast because we have a model coming in, happens to be a football player. No shirt large enough with our logo, so we're going to work with Rent a Color mm -hmm. and um, see if we can do a uh, shirt ASAP. So it'll give you an idea about timing. So one, two, three, go. All right, here we go. So we have our Rhino Color printed with the logo, all black. I always suggest printing in 100% uh, CMYK, so you're going to do a composite black on here, give a heavy toner coverage so that uh, it helps with the transferability. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Rhino Color Sheet that we printed onto, and we're going to heat press the image sheet to the B sheet or the, the coated B sheet so that the coating will then transfer over to where our toner is on this image sheet. And as, as you can see, that is a mirror image so that when it actually gets flipped and over onto the shirt, it will be right reading. Important little detail. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what I like to do, I always like to protect the platens with the parchment paper just so if you do make a mistake, flip the, have the paper upside down, it's not going to stick to anything. And with these transfer papers, I always like preheating the bed of the press. You want to have the bed hot so that when you're pressing it, it's not just the heat on top. You also have a good heat to start with on the bottom. So I usually, just for the starter one, if you're going to do five or six of them, it's obviously going to be hot at the bottom. It's just the very first one that right. you want to do. Okay. All right. So we're going to have our image sheet placed down. Our B sheet then on top of it. I also like folding a little corner over to make it uh, easier to peel off once you open the press. Then get that set. Put our parchment over there in case I made a mistake. And we are going to press this. Okay, so you're using what, 290? Temperature. 290 degrees for uh, 120 seconds, right. and we're going to use like a medium pressure. You can do a medium to heavy pressure. Okay, okay. So, and the, the other aspect is that with Rhino Color, this comes in a whole host of colors from your, your, your white, your black, your pale yellows, blues, dark blue, reds, brilliant yellow, your metallics, it even has some neon. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty green, I'm telling That's, you. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things you have to keep in mind with this is you can look at it as um, a replacement for vinyl in many cases. You're doing a one color image. The image might be relatively fine detail, small copy. You don't want to sit there and weed all this material. No, right? you so really don't. Like it'd a disaster. Be a pain. Yeah, like cross-eyed. Yeah. All that sort of stuff. <laughs> So this is a fast way to be able to do those types of things when you have multiple shirts that you want to do. Um, and again, you get 20 different colors. Um, in this particular case, we're doing, what color are we doing? White. We're doing white. Yeah, we're doing white. And I believe you have printed that back image with the um, CA31TS. Is that, that is correct? correct, yeah. Okay, which is an Oki printer. It's a uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, or a CNYK type of printer. Um, and, and you only need black, so yeah. that's a great deal. Correct. All right, so we're almost ready here. And this is going to be a hot peel on here, leave it and on you, the do press. You, do you wipe that with a, with a cloth? I, I do. Sometimes I do forget it does help getting out any air bubbles that right. possibly are there when you were pressing it. And if you notice, he's rolling it back against the grain. You're not pulling it up like this. You just want to roll it back. There we go. There we are. So we got our, our, our print on So our now we have the print on the sheet. And now we're going to trim just the outer edge because sometimes the coating of this B sheet can sometimes transfer to just the edge because when you're pressing, sometimes this will press over the edge of that original image sheet and leave just a little bit of the coating. Yep. So we'll quickly just trim around that and then go ahead and press it to the shirt. And we can leave the temperature at 290 when we're pressing to the shirt. It's the same temperature with the marrying stage as is for the uh, pressing to the garment stage. Right. So, all right. So let's get a garment. Okay. Okay, we found the shirt. Yep. Here we go. All right. So we got the shirt here. Obviously, I don't need the parchment paper on the bottom. 
line your shirt up. Make sure your pressure is correct because obviously a shirt's going to take up a little bit more on the heat press. So I need to go down just a little bit. Just have a medium to firm pressure on there. This is a, uh, he's using the uh, Geo Knight um, DK20S, which is a swing way, obviously, which is really great because you don't have to get your hands in underneath the uh, hot, hot plate portion, plus adjustability for up and down on your pressure. All right, so we just line up our image. I'm going to use another piece of parchment paper, and this one we're going to press at 30 seconds. It, but the same temperature? Same temperature. Yeah, okay. So same 290, I didn't have to adjust temperatures at all. Yeah. So obviously if you're doing, say, five shirts, you're going to do that first step marrying five times, and then come back and adjust your, your time, and then just start rolling through on the shirts. Correct. So um, now this is, when you take this off, this is a cool peel, right? Correct, yeah. You're going to want to wait probably two to three minutes is usually what I mm -hmm. suggest. Yeah, okay. So again, that would be pressing and pressing and just setting them aside. Then do your peel all at one time. So as you see, it is adhered on there, but we're going to wait for it to cool. Okay. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, yes. So the, we're back. The shirt has cooled down enough. We just laid it over here, and now you peel off the vinyl carrier. Yep. All right. So the way I like to do it is I just like to roll it back upon itself. Sometimes not exactly the easiest, and you know, if I have a different table to do it on, it goes a lot quicker. But as you see, that you shouldn't have anything left over for white in your print area. And we now have a shirt printed with Rhino color. In this case, white on black. Yep. And then, as if I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it has a glossy finish. To get rid of that, all you have to do is hit it with the heat press for another 10 seconds. It'll mat it out. So that's what we're going to do right now real quick. Yeah. Also helps bond it more to the shirt even a little bit more because you still were moving it, pulling it away from the surface. But matting it out really gives it a real screen print look, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know. What, 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Okay. As you can, I don't know if you can see, but now we have a matte look compared to the gloss look. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. Rhino Color. At Rhino Tech. You know where to find us. Till the next time. Yep. See ya. Later.